This video is brought to you by Invincible by Amy Reed, coming April 28th from Katherine Teigen Books. The book follows Evie, a girl who's recovered from a terminal brain cancer diagnosis only to spiral into self-destructive addiction. After overcoming her illness, she doesn't know how to fit back into her life, and when she meets Marcus, who of course is trouble, she feels alive for the first time. The book has been described as the fault in our stars meets Go Ask Alice, and it's the first in a two book arc coming from Katherine Teigen Books. So check out Invincible by Amy Reed on April 28th. Hey guys, Amanda Nelson here. I'm the managing editor of Book Riot, and for, bleh, for today's reader question, I wanna know what is your favorite cookbook? It's getting warm here uh, in the south of Virginia where I live and this is when I start wanting to really cook. It's strange I know most people get into cooking kind of in the fall when you start getting into like You know Thanksgiving and all those holidays, but in the spring we start getting all of these like fresh ingredients And that's all that I want to cook with so I've been going through my cookbook Stash looking at some of my favorite ones and I've got two the first one I don't know if this qualifies as a cookbook because it's about cocktails but it's called Tequila Mockingbird, and it's Recipes for Cocktails with a Literary Twist. It's by um, Tim Federley. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but all of the names of these cocktails are puns. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea Breeze, The Gin Air, Vermouth the Bell Tolls, etc. I love this book so much. This is great for book clubs. If you have book clubs and you meet in people's houses, whipping up batches of these, uh, drinks for your meeting, so much fun. So um, my other, so that's my favorite drink cookbook. My favorite cookbook cookbook is The Pioneer Woman Cooks, Food from My Frontier. And this book, I have made pretty much every recipe in this book. This is heavy, heavy on the cheese, heavy on the carbs. Uh, there's a lot of like kind of Southwestern flavors in here. And I love The Pioneer Woman. I know she gets a bad rap for like, there's a lot of cholesterol or whatever in her um, recipes, like, okay, here's one for fancy mac and cheese that has a bunch of bacon in it. And I just, and like four, one, two, three, four, four kinds of cheese and bacon. I am here for that. Like, I am not concerned about having a heart attack. I wanna eat four kinds of cheese in my macaroni and have bacon in it. Um, so it's, it's a lot of like wholesome kind of food and tended to put meat on various people's bones, which makes sense because you know, her and her family are ranchers. They do like actual manual labor. They need the calories. If I ate like that all the time, it wouldn't be good. But I eat like that probably still more frequently than it's healthy for me. So anyway, let me know what your favorite cookbooks are um, in the comments below so I can go get some new ones to try this spring. I'll talk to you guys later.